This is the book of Jeremiah, the 30th chapter. Start with the first verse. And it reads the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord, power of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. Before I get started with this lesson, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto the Heavenly Father Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Rachakwadash. Double honors unto the head of apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who do well and teach well, Shalom, and to the elders and the elder bishops of Great Millstone as well. Shalom, Shalom. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings unto the hope of the elect, the men, women, and children, listening and learning from the servants and prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, and the hearty Shalom to the sincere brethren laboring across the four winds of the earth, giving diligence to make their calling and election sure. Shalom, Shalom. So this is Brother Ashamoth from the Watchman of the Coast, out here in San Diego, back at you. With another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, loads of the lessons edifying and it reaches the ears of the whole for the elect. Let's start out with the book of Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, and go from there. Let's start from the first verse, and it reads, The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, Yahweh, Lord, and all captures Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, saying, And Jeremiah was a prophet. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, saying, And the Lord, he speaks through his prophets. That's how he speaks. That's the, mouth, that's the mouthpiece of the Heavenly Father. Let's get a couple precepts to back that up. And I don't have a title for the lesson. Just decide to cut the camera on and just go through the precepts. And Lord's will the lessons edifying. This is Malachi 2 and 7. And it reads, For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. And they should seek the law at his mouth. The report. You know? The report, the instructions from the Heavenly Father through that man that was speaking on, on the behalf of the Heavenly Father, which would be, you know, the priesthood or, or a certain prophet. That's what the Lord would give the word to. Malachi 2 and 7, for the priest's lips should keep knowledge and they should seek the law at his mouth. For he is the messenger, for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts going into the Lord of heaven's armies. That's what the Lord speaks through his prophets. This is uh, Hebrews 1. Yep. <clears throat> this is Hebrews 1 and 1. And it reads, The Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. So that's how he speaks. That's who's the messengers for the Heavenly Father. That's who the messenger is for of the Heavenly Father. It's his prophets, the men who he gives his word to. This is Jeremiah 31, and, and it reads the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Speak, thus speaketh, thus speaketh the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, power of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words, all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. And that book is the Holy Scriptures, which contains, you know, our past, our present, our future, the history of the different captivities that we went through. It's a history you know, of the chosen line of Adam down to Abraham, down to Isaac, down to Jacob and his 12 sons and the captivities in different kingdoms that that family line went through and the future of that family line and the punishment that's written for those nations who put captivity and hell on those uh, on that family on that chosen family line that's what the bible contains you know lamentations woes and mourning <clears throat> you know uh, it's also known as the comforter this is first thessalonians 4 and 18 which i had on deck wherefore comfort one another with these words and the holy scriptures you know the words that are in this book are faithful and true. And these people that put hell on us, that still have us in captivity until this day, they're not going to escape the judgment. The judgment is already written, you know. And we know the words of the Heavenly Father are not going to come back void. Every single one of these prophecies is going to come to pass, including us being in rulership. This is Jeremiah 30 and 1. Let's start from the top again. 
the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord power of Israel, saying, Write to thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. And that goes back to the law. We're not supposed to add or subtract. Let's go to Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter. Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter. And it reads, Now therefore, now therefore hearken, now therefore hearken unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you. And that word hearken is shamai. Let's go to the blue letter. Let's prove it real quick. This is Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 4. Let's go to the blue letter. <clears throat> this is Deuteronomy 4 in the blue letter. And it reads, Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and to the judgments which I teach you. That's possessive right there. Now therefore hearken, O Israel, which I teach you. Uh, unto the statutes and to the judgments which I teach you because the law statutes commandments you know the words of the heavenly father you know that was only given unto a certain nation of people you know as far as the understanding of the word the laws the commandments you know the the uh, the statutes also the promise the covenant that was only made with a certain nation of people these other heathen nations they don't have any part of that they're not under the curses. You know, Esau, Edom, and the heathen nations, they're, they're in their heaven right now. You know, beginning with Esau, you know, and Amalek. This is Psalm 78 and 1. Give ear, O my people. Give ear, O my people. That's possessive. Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. And, and those words were given to the holy prophets to give to the people. This is Psalm 78 and 5, and it reads, For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers, that's possessive, that they should make them known to their children. And that's happening right now through the Spirit, starting with our spiritual fathers, you know, <clears throat> who learned from their spiritual fathers. This is Deuteronomy 4 and 1. Now, now, therefore, hearken. Let's get this in the blue letter. That word is Shammai, I believe. That word for hearken, yeah, is Shammai. In the Hebrew, that word would be Shammai, which means to hear, listen, to obey, to obey. To hear, listen, to obey, to hear, perceive by ear. And we, only, we know that only the elect, the hopeful elect, has obtained the ability to perceive, to hear, to listen. Romans 11 and 7, and it reads, But then Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for, as far as this wisdom, this knowledge, this truth, this understanding. The ability to be comforted. You have two-thirds of our people, you know, who, who read the scriptures, and, well, you have better yet. Uh, everybody outside, you know, the, the household of faith, they don't have the true understanding. You have a lot of our people who will read the Bible, and they'll get totally confused. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll start to believe in all sorts of uh, damnable heresies because ultimately the Heavenly Father hasn't instructed them, had it, hasn't given them the ability to understand, to perceive, to know, to believe, to have faith. Faith is a gift. This is Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel had not attained that which he seeketh for. And Israel is a people before it's a place. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, West Indians, and Seminole Indians, and you so-called Haitians. And the Israelites who may look like the other nations. This is Romans 11 and 7. What, what then Israel had not attained that which he seeketh for. This truth, this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding. The ability to read, the ability to be comforted by the words that are coming out. To understand, to perceive, to know. Israel not, had not attained that which he seeketh for. This truth. But the election had obtained it. The election. The going into the elect. And the rest were blinded. Going into the book of Isaiah, the sixth chapter, where you have angels blinding men from the understanding, you know, keeping them away, you know, from having access to the tree of life. You know, but the election, the elect, the election were able to have access, you know, were able to have access, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai and Barakat the Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. 
that we may be called trees of righteousness in the end. Let's, actually, let's get a precept real quick. And I don't have a title. I'm just, just, uh, just wanted to turn the camera on and do a lesson. You know, sometimes if you don't have a title, you know, hey, just turn the camera on and just start teaching, man. You know, yeah, just, you know, through the spirit. This is Psalms 52 and 8. And Barakatha Yahweh Bashim Yashah for the spirit to do a lesson today. This is uh, Psalms 52 and 8. And it reads, but I am like a green olive tree in the house of power. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of the Most High. I trust in the mercy of the Most High forever and ever. I will praise thee forever because thou hast done it. And I will lay and I will wait on my name. I will, and I will wait on thy name. I'll wait on thy name. And we have the name, you know. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Those that run into it, the righteous run into it and it's safe. This is Psalms 52 and 9. I'll start with 8 again. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of the Most High. I trust in the mercy of the Most High forever and ever. I will praise thee forever because thou hast done it. I will wait on thy name for it is good before thy saints. And we know the saints to be the Israelites. You know, Psalms 148, you know, Psalms uh, 50 and 5, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Let's get one of those. This is Psalms 50 and 5, and it reads, <clears throat> Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Now, we just read a precept earlier that goes into, we were in Psalms, I believe. Yeah. Bear with me. I'll go down here. I'll get it from down here. Psalm 78. Psalm 78 and 1. Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. Through what? Through who? Through, who? through the holy prophets that are, that are given the word. Psalm 78 and 5. For he established a testimony in Jacob and he and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. That's who the law, you know, and, and everything was given to him. Man. That's who everything is coming to, you know. Through our Lord Yahweh Shai, He's going to give us everything. You know, that's what He's coming back with the, the immortal bodies, you know, rulership, dominion, you know. And we're going to have forever to enjoy it. And we have uh, ultimately what we need on this side to get to that point of that number. Now let's go back. This is Deuteronomy 4 and 1. Now therefore, hearken, O Israel. Hearken, that word hearken is Shammai. Shammai. To hear, listen, obey, to perceive by ear. To hear, have power to hear. Woo! Have power to hear. Man, to understand, to understand. To listen, to give heed, to obey, be obedient. Man. Some good, uh, some good stuff right here. To hear with attention, interest, to hear with attention or interest. Listen to. And we know only the hopeful elect have the ability to do all those things. You know, to hear, to understand, to perceive, to listen, to obey. To have power to hear. That's called faith. You know? That's what the Lord was saying. That's what the Lord Yahweh Shai was saying. Who the world through ignorance calls Jesus. This is uh, Matthew 13 and 16. Matthew 13 and 16, and it reads, But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Let's go into this word blessed. Makarios. Strong's G, 3107. Makarios. Makarios. Yep, and it goes into blessed, happy. Supremely blessed. By extension, fortunate, well off, blessed. Yep. <clears throat> Let's go back. Yep. 
This is uh, Deuteronomy 4 and 1. Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and to the judgment which I teach you, for to do them that ye may live. Going into having the ability to understand, having the power to understand. Because everything outside this 100% truth leads to death. And our, uh, a good portion of our people are going to find out the hard way when Esau Edom and the elite bankers issue the RFID and Plymouth microchip, which is the mark of the beast. And those that are taken are going to be destroyed. Deuteronomy 4 and 1. Now therefore, now therefore hearken, O Israel, to the statutes and to the judgment which I teach you, for to do them that ye may live. And go in and possess the land which Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, power of your fathers, giveth you. Because he's the power of Israel, you know, and none else. Exodus 29. I think it's about the last two verses. Exodus 29. Exodus 29 and 45. And I will dwell among the children of Israel and be their power. And Joel 2 and 27, you know, you can match this up with that. Joel 2 and 27. Joel 2 and 27, and it reads, Joel 2 and 27, and it reads, And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, your power, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. And my people shall never be ashamed. You know, the hopeful elect, they're not going to be ashamed, you know, nor confounded, world without end. This is Exodus 29 and 46. Let's start with 45 again. And I will dwell among the children of Israel and be their power. And they shall know that I am Yahweh Bashim Yashai, their power, that brought them forth out of the land of Egypt. That word Egypt in the English is Mizraim, and in the Hebrew would mean Montezarim, which means double straits, you know, bondage. Egypt is synonymous with bondage, and we're in the modern day Egypt. That's why you look at the back of the dollar bill, it has a pyramid, it also has an eagle, which shows you that, you know, you're in Egypt all over again, you know, under the Roman, modern day Roman Empire. I'm going the wrong way, bro. That don't work. You want to go around, you want to go up the, uh, up the elevator, man. Yeah, this is uh, Exodus 29 and 46. Yeah, you got to go out and you got to go in the building all over again. Exodus 29 and 46. And they shall know that I am Yahweh Hashem Yashai, their power that brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, that I may dwell among them. I am Yahweh Hashem Yashai, their power. Their power. It's like I may have got distracted. Joel 2 and 27. Let's read this again in case I didn't read it. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And I am Yahweh Bashim Yashai, your power, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Now let's go back. This is Joel 2 and 27. Thus speaketh the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai, power of Israel, saying, Write to thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. Now we were getting Deuteronomy. But uh, we, you know, we're getting Deuteronomy 4 and 2. You have Deuteronomy 4 and 2. You shall not add unto the words which I command you. Neither shall you diminish aught from it, that ye may keep the commandments which Yahweh Bashim Yashai, your power, which command you. Which command you. Yeah? You're not supposed to add or subtract to the word. You're not supposed to, you know, um, you're not supposed to, you know, uh, ultimately, you're not supposed to conceal the message of the Heavenly Father. You're not supposed to be a respecter of persons. You're supposed to tell, uh, thus saith the Lord, how about Shema Shai, whether they were here or forbear, no matter who says what, or who likes it or not. You know? Now let's go back. This is Jeremiah 30 and 3. And it reads, For lo, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that I will bring again the captivity of my people, going into taking us out of captivity. For the days, for lo, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, 
Yahweh means the name of the Heavenly Father. Ba en ha da shem or sham name. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son. For the for the for lo, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh Vashim Yahshai, that I will bring again the captivity of my people, Israel, and Judah, going into Israel, the northern kingdom, Judah, the southern kingdom, saith the Lord, Yahweh Vashim Yahshai, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it, and they shall possess it. <clears throat> And these are the words that the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahshai spake concerning Israel and Judah and the northern and southern kingdom. You know, <clears throat> the two witnesses are being gathered right now through the word, through the word, you know, going into the, the second precept. Thus speaketh the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, power of your, of your father. It's like it. Thus speaketh the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, power of Israel saying, write unto thee all the words that I've spoken unto thee in a book. And that book is the Holy Scriptures, which is also known as the Comforter. And you have the, 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 the remnant, you know, the household of faith from both the southern and northern kingdom being comforted by that report, by that word. <clears throat> yep. And these are the words which Yahweh Bashim Yahshai spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. And the Lord is actually going to bring us back into the land, you know, and take away, uh, you know, uh, the curses, you know, remove all tears from our eyes, you know, give us all, uh, give us joint rulership with him. You know, uh, the rod of iron, you know, scepters, thrones, you know, everything, um, uh, that we want in our heart desires and righteousness, man. But we have to go through the straight gate before that actually physically happens. Going into the next uh, couple precepts, Jeremiah 30 and 5, for thus said the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai power. For thus said the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. It's like it. We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Before that happens, you got to go through what's called Jacob's trouble. And only those that are written in the book are going to survive the times to come. Jeremiah 30 and 6. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Whether do I see every man with his hands on his loins. As a woman in travail and all faces are turned to paleness. Or and all faces are turned into paleness. And that's the period that we're coming into. We're, we're in a period right now that's called the beginning of sorrows. Where you're starting to hear of wars, you know, rumors of wars, famines, earthquakes in diverse places, pestilences. This man looking to push his RFID and final microchip, which is the mark of the beast. And the gathering of the elect, the gathering of, you know, Israel and Judah, Israel being the northern kingdom, you know, the indigenous people that were. You know, um, you know, brought from King Shalom and Ezra the fifth, you know, from Samaria to Assyria and then came over here and sailed around Africa and came here around 722 B.C. right after that period. And that would be, you know, the indigenous people of North, South and Central America, the, the modern day uh, Seminole Indians, Native American Indians, the Mayans, the Aztecs and the Incas. And, and the, the Jakes who are occupying the islands, you know, <clears throat> and the Tainos, you know, so on and so forth, you know, the Arawak and Judah being, you know, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, the so-called Negro, the so-called West Indian, the so-called Haitian, Jamaicans, Trinidad, uh, Tr Trinidians, and so on and so forth. All those names I just mentioned are bywords and proverbs that were given to us by our oppressors, the people who had us in slavery, the Dutch, you know, the uh, the French, the English, the Portuguese, the Spanish. Those are names that they gave us. The Heavenly Father calls us by our tribal names, you know. You know, uh, Yahawada, Banyamya, Loya, Yashashkar. Ashar, you know, Ra'aban, you know, 
Show me one. Aparium. Just naming a few of the tribes in Hebrew. That's how the Lord calls us. That's what the Lord calls us by. Let's go back. This is Jeremiah 30. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he, but he shall be saved out of it. Who? Those that are written in the book of life, man. Let's go back. This is... Uh, Get another window. <clears throat> this is uh, Daniel 12 and 1. And it reads, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, for the children of thy people. That's possessive right there. Now Michael, he's the top angel of war right under our Lord Yahweh Shai. And it's going to get so bad out here that the Lord's going to have to send Michael, you know, and the host, the host of heaven, you know, the Lord, you know, at, to, to, you know, to, to redeem his elect. And that's being done right now spiritually through this word, you know, but it's going to be physically, you know, when he returns. <clears throat> and at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never since there was a nation coming into times coming into the time that we're coming into that's why it would be wise you know you know to not walk around you know with fringes on you know letting everybody know what you're about you know it would be wise you know to you know move in Clark Kent mode and uh, going into the the history of the t-shirt that goes back to the late 1800s. You know, our, 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 uh, our forefathers never wore, you know, T-shirts. That's an undergarment. They wore long garbs or robes, you know, garments. That's what we wore in the ancient world. Garments that went down, you know, past, past the knees, you know, all the way, all the way down to the, all the way down to the flow. Like our Lord Yahweh Shai, like his, like his garment. Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there should be a time of trouble as never since there was a nation, even to the same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. Thy people shall be delivered. Who? Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. The book of life of the Lamb. The book of life, you know. The book of the Lamb, you know. <clears throat> Might be a precept that's worded like that. Let me see. Let me see. I think there's a precept that's written about that. Yeah, the Lamb's Book of Life. It's lucky. Yeah. The book of life's locking. Yep. In the book of life, that's referring to, you know, those who are, you know, of the elect. It's locking for my, uh, my poor memory tonight. This is Revelation 13 and 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of, of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. And that Lamb that's slain from the foundation of the world is our Lord Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> and if you go into the law that's uh, actually in Exodus the 29th chapter you know uh, you would sacrifice you know he's symbolic of the daily sacrifice you know the, the morning and the evening sacrifice the morning and the evening sacrifice you would sacrifice a lamb an unblemished lamb you know let's go to that real quick yep Exodus 29. Let's get in the NLT. Mm. 
Yet this is uh, Exodus 29 and 38. These are the sacrifices you are to offer regularly on the altar. Each day offer two lambs that are a year old, unblemished. One in the morning and the other in the evening. And Yahweh Shai was symbolic of him, you know, being crucified was symbolic of the evening sacrifice. You know, that unblemished lamb that was sacrificed, you know, for the atonement of the nation of Israel, you know, start with the elect. Giving mercy unto the whole nation of Israel, but it starts with the elect, you know, because even those who die on this side, you're still going to receive mercy. You're going to be in the kingdom in your right mind, in, per, in, in, in your perfection. Due to, uh, we're just Exodus, just like it, Exodus 29 and 39. One in the morning and the other in the evening, with one of them offered two quarts of mix, off, with one of them offered two quarts of choice flour, the bread, with one quart pure oil, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, of pressed olives, also offer one quart of wine, the yan yan, which is all symbolic of the word. As a liquid offering, water, the rivers of living water, liquid, you know, bread, you know, choice flour, pure oil, the, the understanding, the five uh, foolish virgins and the five wise virgins, one quart of wine, the yan yan, you know, also when he, uh, when he was crucified, it's symbolic of the Passover lamb, in which you would drink with you know, wine, which is symbolic of his blood that he shed for the elect. The whole nation of Israel start with the elect as a liquid offering. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly, out of his mind shall flow rivers of living water. And this is in the law. Just wanted to back that up, you know. Now let's go. <clears throat> Revelation 13 and 8. Revelation 13 and 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. Worship who? Esau Edom in this B system whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, the book of life of the Lamb, the book of life of the Lamb, you know, basically the book of the Lamb, but it's the book of life of the Lamb. Slack it for my uh, my slack um, my, uh, my lack of memory when it comes to how that word, how that term was phrased, Slack it. And all that and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. That's talking about our Lord, who the world through ignorance calls Jesus. When the letter J was invented in the 1500s and added in the English language in the 1600s. There's no letter J in Latin, Greek, or Hebrew, which were the languages that were spoken, which were the predominant popular languages that were spoken at the time of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Those are the main three languages. That would be like uh, English, you know, Spanish, and I think well, whatever the third language is, you know, French or something along those lines, you know, in the modern day, uh, you know, era that we live in. <clears throat> now let's go back, Daniel 12 and 1 and 2. And many, of, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And they that be wise, and they that be wise, the wise virgins, shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. Wisdom maketh the man's face to shine. Ecclesiastes, the 8th chapter. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Immortality. Now let's go and get Jeremiah 30. Let's keep on reading. Let's get some more meat off the bone in this chapter. Jeremiah 38. For it shall come to pass in that day, said the Lord Yahweh, that I will break the yoke, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, and burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. Going into, you know, those that endure to the end, you know, start with those that endure to the end. They're going to be giving, you know, uh, you know, immortality, you know, rulership, dominion. The heathen are not going to be ruling over us. Let's go to the law real quick. Deuteronomy. 15. This is Deuteronomy 15 and 6, and it reads, 
for the Lord Yahweh Bashima Shah, thy power blessed thee, blessed thee, as he promised thee, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, but thou shalt not borrow, and thou shalt reign over many nations. That's what we're coming into. I'm gonna read it again. For the Lord Yahweh, Lord in all caps is Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba and Ha the Sham or Sham name, Yahweh Shai being his son's name. Thy power, blessed thee, as he promised thee, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, but thou shalt not borrow. Going into, we're going to be, you know, uh, the lender and not the borrower in the kingdom. And thou shalt reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over thee. Because there's only going to be one nation in rulership in the kingdom, and that's the nation of Israel. And that's going to be that's going to be a perpetual rulership. That's going to be a perpetual rulership, man. And that's what the Christian church won't teach you. Going into, uh, you know, the, the heavenly father dwelleth not in temples made with hands. You're not going to find out the truth in the churches, man. Because lying to people and teaching hell is big business. And hell is not biblical as far as the, the, the Greco-Roman, you know, uh, Roman Catholic version of it. Hell is a condition or it's the grave or death or, you know, the earth, like digging in the earth, you know? That's what hell is. You know, it's a condition. It's the grave or death or in some places, in some connotations, when it goes into certain precepts it'll talk about digging in the earth, you know? as far as, you know, uh, underground military bunkers and so on and so forth. Though they dig into hell, though they climb up into heaven, you know, Amos the ninth chapter, when that comes uh, to mind as far as off the top of the memory, Amos 9 and 2. Let's go back. This is a Jeremiah 30. Jeremiah 30 and 8, for it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck and will burst thy bonds and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. Yep. But they shall serve Yahweh their power and David their king. And David their and David their king. Not the king of everybody, David their king. And that's what the kingdom of heaven is synonymous with. It's synonymous with the throne of David. And what did David do? David subdued all our enemies. David was reigning over the enemy, man. He had Moab as a wash pot. Edom and garrisons and that's going to happen all over again and that's what the Christian church won't teach you either is that the Lord's coming back he's coming back to inherit the throne of David which is synonymous with rulership and dominion over the other nations Jeremiah 30 and 9 but they shall serve Yahweh Bashim Ashad their power and David their king and the Lord's coming back to inherit the throne of David whom I will raise up unto them Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord Yahweh Bashim Ashai, neither be dismayed. Therefore fear thou not. For the Lord hasn't given us the spirit of fear, but a power and a love and of a sound mind, man. Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord Yahweh Bashim Ashai, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity and Jacob shall return and be in rest and be quiet and none shall make him afraid. And that's what we're coming into, man. Let's get a few more precepts. This is, uh, but to the wicked, yeah, you're going into captivity. Isaiah 48 and 22. Isaiah 48 and 22, and it reads, Isaiah 48 and 22, and it reads there, is no peace, saith Yahweh Bashim Yashai, to the wicked. There is no peace. We're going to be crying out day and night, you know, you know, terrorizing you with the report of the Lord until the Lord cracks the sky and takes down your kingdom, all your power, rulership, and authority, and sets up his kingdom, you know, physically. This is Jeremiah 30. Let's skip on down to the last two verses. But the whirlwind of the Lord go forth with fury. A continuing whirlwind, it shall fall upon, and it shall, it's like, I'm going to start again from the top. I got a little excited. 
Jeremiah 30 and 23, Behold, the whirlwind of the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, goeth forth with fury, a continuing whirlwind. It shall fall with pain upon the head of the wicked. The destroying wind, the nuclear destruction, it's going to hit Babylon the Great and soon destroy your cash cow, your kingdom, the cash cow of the modern day Roman Empire. The fierce anger of the Lord shall not return until he have done it, until he's, until he's destroyed this kingdom. And it shall, and it, it's like, I'm going to start again from the top. Jeremiah 30 and 24, the fierce anger of the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, shall not return. And the Lord has the top anger. The Lord has the top anger, man. Jeremiah 30 and 24, the fierce anger of the Lord shall not return until he have done it. And until he have performed the intents of his heart. In the latter days, ye shall consider it. In the latter days, ye shall consider it. Let's go to Isaiah 47. That's the spirit. I was Isaiah 48 right here. Let's go to Isaiah 47. I think it's. Yeah. <clears throat> Hold up. It's in here somewhere in Isaiah 47 too. Bear with me, bear with me. It's in Jeremiah as well. Jeremiah 23. Yeah, it's in a few places right here. Jeremiah Slaki. This is Jeremiah 23 and 20. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he had executed and till he performed the thoughts of his heart in the latter days ye shall consider it perfectly. And that's exactly what's going to happen in Babylon the Great. Going back into Jeremiah, where are we at? Jeremiah 30 and 24. And it reads, the fierce anger of the Lord shall not return until he have done it, until he's destroyed Babylon the Great. You know, until he have performed the intents of his heart, his, his, you know, his, his, his heart, his mind. In the latter days, he shall consider it going into this place being destroyed, man. You know, we can't wait. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of the intents. It's like until he have performed the thoughts of of his heart in the latter days ye shall consider it perfectly ye shall consider it perfectly and this place is going to be completely destroyed yeah actually yeah, that's that's the spirit they should come upon thee in their perfection that's all I was looking for this is uh, Isaiah 47 and 9 but these two things shall come upon thee in a moment in one day widowhood the loss of children i'm gonna start again from the top but these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day the loss of children and widowhood they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments and if you go into this this is going this is talking about babylon the great you know come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. That's talking about Babylon the Great. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, going into the ancient uh, magites and sorcerers of Babylon. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Yep. <clears throat> Take the millstones and grind mill, uncover the locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh. For I made Esau eat a bear. Jeremiah uh, 49 and 10. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. And I will take vengeance. And I will not meet thee as a man. The Lord's coming back as an angelic force. To destroy this place, man. And to set up his kingdom. Now let's go back to. Right here. Jeremiah 30 and 24. The fierce anger of the Lord shall not return until he have done it. And until he have performed the intents of his heart. 
in the latter days ye shall consider it. And he has a controversy with this place. And this place is going to be destroyed, man. We can't wait. And I can't say it enough. Let's go back. Let's lock it. Uh, this is uh, 2 Maccabees, the 7th chapter. Let's start with 14. 2 Maccabees 7. And this is talking about the seven uh, children, you know, who were being tortured by King Antiochus. And, you know, the mom as well, you know. This is uh, 2 Maccabees 7. And this is during the Greek Empire. This is 2 Maccabees 7. <clears throat> Let's start with 10. And it reads, After him was the third made a mocking stock, and when he was required, he put out his tongue. And the right stood, and, and, the, and the right soon, holding forth his hands manfully, going into ultimately what's going to happen to some of us. You know, we're going to have to, you know, um, lay down our lives for this thing, man. You know, some of us, man. But it's all good. What's here? Second Maccabees 7 and 11, and, read, and, and said courageously, These I had from heaven. And for his laws, I despise them. And from him, I hope to receive them again, going into, you know, reincarnation, coming back, you know, also, also faith, you know. Fear not what we just read, fear not. Because some of us are actually going to have to, you know, um, you know, you know, strive for the truth unto death. Jeremiah 20, Jeremiah 30 and 10. Therefore, fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord, Yahweh, shall neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And when our captivity this day and Jacob shall return and shall be in rest and be quiet and none shall make him afraid. But some of us are actually going to have to, you know, to receive that immortality to receive, you know, that first dominion and rulership lay down their lives, man. It just is what it is. You know, it's, it's part of counting the cost. <clears throat> this is uh, 2 Maccabees 7. Yep, 2 Maccabees 7 and 12. And it reads, insomuch that the king and they that were with him marveled at the young man's courage for that he receives, for that he nothing for that he nothing regarded the pains and we believe through faith he didn't feel it you know you can't you can't feel it if you're doing all that also Stephen that goes into the account of Stephen you know we believe through faith that Stephen didn't feel it you know didn't feel the stoning well, we believe we believe through faith that this young man right here didn't feel anything you know and so much that the king and they were marveled with him marveled at the young man's courage for that he Nothing regarded the pains. He nothing regarded the pains. Now, when this man was dead also, they tormented and mangled the fourth in like manner. So when he was ready to die, he said thus, it is good to put, it is good, it is good being put to death by men. They look for hope for the Most High to be raised up again by him, going into, going into uh, reincarnation. You know, and those that, you know, lay down their lives, they're going to die. They're going to just like it. They're going to be raised up with Hamashiach. You know, they're going to I'll get it real quick. I don't want to butcher the point because we were just in that chapter. Uh -uh. It's like it. This is first Thessalonians four and 16. The dead Hamashiach shall rise first. This is first uh, Thessalonians four and 16. And it reads. For the Lord himself shall ascend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. He's coming back with the host of heaven, Michael and all the archangels, man. You know, and those who, you know, lay down their lives for this truth, they're going to be on the fathership with him already. You know? Yep. Then which, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air 
and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Yahweh Shai. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And this, this, is, uh, this is the comforter, man. You know, this word comforts us. Even when we do lessons, that, that just comforted me reading it. You know, and, we, and I've read that precept, you know, I would say a good 40 or 50 times. Probably more than that, you know. <clears throat> now let's go. Let's go back. Let's go back. Um, probably way more than that. Probably, I would say a good 100 times. Now I think about it. Let's go back. Um, 2 Maccabees 7, 14. Let's finish the precept. 2 Maccabees 7 and 14. So when he was ready to die, he said, Thus it is good being put to death by men to look for a hope from the Most High to be raised up again by him. Going into reincarnation. As for thee, thou shall have no resurrection to life. Going into you not having any name in the streets. You not having any children, you know, anyone to pass your seed off to, you know, any, any seed to pass off your inheritance to, you know, your inheritance is going to be dung and worms. And then after a thousand years of captivity, hardcore captivity, you being at the bottom of the bottoms, you're going to be rounded up and exterminated, man. Pursuant to Obadiah 1 and 18, Isaiah 14, you know, uh, Job the 18th chapter. Job the 20th chapter, you know, you know, um, Job the 30th chapter, you know, because if you go into the, um, in Job the 30th chapter where it talks about uh, their children of base men, if you go into that word of base men, it goes into a nameless man, you know, a nameless man, that's what you're going to be, <laughs> a nameless man, you know. A, a, a dream that fades away, man. You know, a nightmare that fades away. Now let's go. Let's get this and wrap on up. And I don't have a title for the lesson. I just call it rolling through the spirit. You know, unless the Lord, you know, uh, sees otherwise and gives me a title. You know, uh, no peace of the wicked, salvation for the elect. Oh, well. We'll see how, we'll see how it goes. Let's go to... Uh, Isaiah 30. Yeah, Isaiah 30. And 10. And, and again, and it reads, Therefore, fear thou not, O my servant Jacob. Yep. Saith the Lord, Yahweh, Shai, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return and be in rest. And be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. Yep. And also reincarnation, going into David coming back. But they shall serve Yahweh Shemashah their power, and David their king. So those those who don't believe in reincarnation, why is David being mentioned in Jeremiah thirty and nine? We shall serve David when David, you know, he was around before Jeremiah came on the scene. And this is talking about a future prophecy, you know. As far as, you know, because if you go into Jeremiah, Jeremiah was around, you know, during, uh, you know, the exile to Babylon, you know, that whole time period. And we still had to go through the Persian Mede captivity after that, you know, and it talks about, you know, he'll break the bond from off our uh, bond, he'll, he'll burst the bond and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. We still had to go through three more captivities after that, the Persian Mede captivity. The Greek captivity, the Roman captivity, actually four more captivities. So like it. Let me say it the correct way. You know, the, the, the Persian Mede captivity, the Greek captivity, the Roman captivity, and then Rome 2.0. So this is talking about, you know, a future prophecy where David will come back and will be, you know, will be in rulership and David will be the king. So those that don't believe in reincarnation, why is this written right here? Why is this worded like this? Vocab Malone, vocab Malone where are you at? You know? Jeremiah 30 and 10 again. Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar, 
and thy seed from the land of their captivity, and Jacob shall return and be in rest and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. And that's where we're coming into. So, Lord, do you were edified and comforted by this lesson. Before I end, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Rahakwadash. Double honors unto the head apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well. Shalom unto the elders and the elder bishops of Great Millstone as well. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings unto the whole for the elect. Be men, women, and children listening and learning from the servants of prophets of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and the hearty Shalom to the sincere brethren laboring across the four winds of the earth. Given diligence to make their calling and election sure. Shalom, shalom. DTA, wa, ababa, ba. Soon. Soon, soon, soon. Shalom.